Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri, and today's video is going to be me testing out some new products, um, namely trying out Pharmacy. This is a MLM company. If you don't like MLM, feel free to leave the video right now. That is totally fine with me. Um, I do like to support my friends. And again, I have said before, I do not mind MLM as long as you are not cold messaging me and following me on Instagram so I will buy your shit. Aside from that, I'm all for it. You do you, okay? So I will be testing a few products from Pharmacy. I also will be diving into some Nomad Cosmetics. I have tried a couple of shadow, well, one single shadow, mini shadow, and one mini bronzer that we've gotten in Ipsy, but I've never really dipped my toes, so to speak. So I will be testing that. And then I've already used these once and I already love them, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, I was asked if I wanted to do an honest and thorough review for a company called My Home Body. These are makeup blending sponges. They come in a little box like this. And first and foremost, I wanna say, it comes with a little stand and you get three sponges and they're only $9.99. I want you guys to see the shape of this and it wigged me out at first, but now I freaking love it. They look like game pieces. There's a cool little mint green one and a navy one. Of course, I wet the green one and you guys can see the difference. Um, if you've watched me before, you know I don't typically use sponges for actual makeup application. I do spread out my concealer and I always press all my makeup into my skin with a sponge. I just typically prefer using a brush. That's how I've always been. But I love the fact that you can use this as a handle so freaking easy. And I like the fact that almost like the AOA Studios one or AOA whatever it's called, the little pink sponge that I tried before, how I said it was almost too soft. I still like it and it's fine for pressing in makeup, but this is like the perfect blend. If you've tried like Real Technique sponges, um, even the Morphe sponge or the Elf sponge, very comparable to that in the way that they feel really soft, but there's also a little bit of like texture there. There's a little bit of something there. It's not just super mushy, um, but I love that this is essentially a handle. So it really presses makeup. And yes, I used it for makeup application and the smaller one or the other shape one, for my concealer. This reminds me of a Real Technique sponge. Very soft, yet has a little bit of density to it. I love that it's got the super sharp point to get right up in there. So I just wanted you guys to see these. Um, I did wash them again, but I've only used them one time, so I'm gonna use them again today, but they're only 10 bucks. I do like the fact that it has the little stand, and I've never seen them in this shape. It is so freaking cool. Um, and it does say on their little website that you can use this to like get into smaller places. I didn't feel that it worked the best for that, but I love the fact that it is a handle. It de it definitely, you know, works as a handle, so they're super cute. Um, so yeah, I will be using these as well. And I'm not gonna worry about brows or anything like that. Y'all know that I'm growing my brows out, y'all. It's been a, it's a struggle, okay? Struggle. I'm driving the struggle bus after I got hit by it, okay? <laughs> so first and foremost, I am gonna jump into my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I have been using the hell out of this, and I really, really love it. Um, as I have said before, if you have very, very fair skin, um, or you just kind of opposed to any type of shimmer on your skin at all, you are not going to like this. It does have a slight kind of yellow gold cast to it, but I will say, and you guys can see I'm kind of really pushing it, pushing it into the skin around my nose, on my cheeks, where I'm really red at, but... I definitely see that it is slightly blurring. It does feel super moisturizing, which y'all know mama likes. And I like the glow that it gives me, especially for like my pretty fresh um, tinted moisturizer and stuff like that. I feel like it looks best for me personally under something that is more kind of sheer to light coverage because I like seeing that kind of pretty glow, you know, kind of coming through my foundation. If you do not like that, you're not going to like this. <laughs> so I'm just going to use that. And it doesn't have a smell or anything like that. Um, the texture is really nice. It has some tack to it, but it's not super, super tacky. But I love this stuff. All right. So let me put that away. And we are going to go into our box. Um, they are a cruelty-free brand. Everything is supposed to be mostly, I guess, natural and stuff like that. Um, I believe that they're based out of Turkey. 
Um, if my friend is okay with it when this goes up, I will of course leave her a link for her pharmacy. Um, price wise, they are comparable to, um, I would say slightly higher than drugstore. They're in like the six, fifteen to seventeen dollar price range for like the BBCC type creams, which y'all know I'm into. Um, and then like their lippies are like ten to fifteen bucks. Very, you know, I would say very comparable to like mid price. So I thought the pricing was fair. Um, shade range could use a little bit of work. I will say that. So let's dive in. I don't know if it's going to say the actual pricing on here for me or not. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> and, um, I purchased these myself. She does not know I'm doing a video, but, um, my friend is also someone that is a very, your skin, but better, very soft, natural type of makeup. And I've been loving how she's been looking. So I was like, when I get the money, I want to place an order through you. So I got the Pharmacy Makeup Skin Perfecting Balm. It is a CC color control. CC means color control balm or tinted moisturizer type thing. And I got medium 03. I did get medium. I asked her like what shade she is. And she's like, right now I'm this shade, but um, I'm going to do medium for summer. So I was like, okay, I want it for summertime. I also got, I hope this is as pretty as it looked on the, on the website. This is called, called Au Natural and it is their matte liquid lipstick. And of course it's, it's a nude. And then I also, I saw her use this. She is in my Facebook group and we're doing a spring makeup challenge and she used this and I about shit myself when she used it. It is a pharmacy pigment in the shade pineapple. Y'all, it's so damn pretty and it looked gorgeous on her. So I'm going to try this as well. And then let's open up our Nomad Cosmetics. Jeez. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we might need some scissors for this one. Okay, there we go. Packaging is really cute. It came in like a little thing. And you guys know I don't like a whole lot of waste, so I already appreciate that Pharmacy put it in just a small box. No additional packaging. Here is my little package from Nomad Cosmetics. And in case anyone's like, why don't you open this stuff prior to filming? I always want to be transparent and be authentic. I want you guys to see me open everything and know that, you know, I'm, I'm being genuine in everything. Okay, so I have the Around the World in Positano Sunrise. This is a light infusion powder, and I believe it was a, a blush, and I'm pretty sure I got like a peachy shade. Um, I ordered this a while ago. Y'all know I order stuff and I let it sit here until I'm ready to film. I got the Nomad La Habana Tropicana. This is an eyeshadow. That packaging, cute as hell. They are a cruelty-free brand as well. This one is Nomad Spice Market. And the shade, is it called Spice Market? I'm assuming it's Spice Market. But I wanted to get like warm, kind of sultry, bronzy type tones for summertime, of course. And then this is Nomad sweet aubergine i'm so sorry you guys so i will be trying all of this stuff out i'm really really excited they did send their little card right here and it tells us about nomad cosmetics welcome to beauty welcome to the beauty nomad beauty nomad family here's a little bit about our story we were founded in 2015 um they visited over 70 countries um and of course you know a nomad is a traveler so i i love the theme i love all of that and then they also sent a cute little postcard as well to Darissa. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much for your order. We hope you love your new Nomad goodies. Thank you so much and be well. That is amazing. I love personal touches. Y'all know that. You know, just like with Rural Aura, I love that she always puts the little cards and stuff in there. I just, I love little personal touches. And I, I understand like mass produced brands, they don't have time to sit there and write your personalized card. I get it. Okay. I'm not dumb. So we are primed. Let's pin this hair make. And again, this was right around $16. The packaging is really cute. And you actually get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is more than kind of your standard 30 mil. Packaging is really cute. So y'all know I always do a smell test. I do love that it is also safety sealed. Safety seal, yeah. You gotta love safety seal. Okay. Especially when you're a germaphobe. Okay. Now, <laughs> when I used these, I used my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. So I'm going to treat them the... Whoa, that came out a lot. Okay, a lot came out at one time. And it's almost thick, but like watery too. Very strange. Um, I think the color is going to be amazing. Oh God, I'm so excited. 
And y'all know normally, again, I don't actually apply. Ooh, oh my God, that feels nice. What does that remind me of? Oh my gosh. It's very natural and very soft, but it reminds me of something. So we're gonna go in with this. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Oh, this is gonna be nice for summertime. Yes. I'm glad I went with a darker shade. Ooh. Okay, that shade's pretty. That smell. Oh my God, I smell so nice. What is that? And I actually might do one side with this and then bust out my brush. I normally, of course, use a regular brush. I just wanted y'all to see the sponge because they're hella cute. <laughs> That's actually giving me more coverage than I assumed it was going to give me, which is really good. Like with my Pretty Fresh, um, when I applied it the very first time I got it, I applied it with a sponge and my brush, and I actually don't like the way that it applies with a sponge. Um, I feel like I get zero coverage. And again, I am a, you know, a light coverage fan, but I at least want to cancel out my redness. So this is absolutely doing that. Ignore the color. I know it's slightly dork. And I'm going to add another little tiny layer. I've barely used any. I'm going to add another tiny little layer and just see... If we can build it up a little bit again it's not a you know a foundation sorry if you hear there's a lot of traffic going through my neighborhood today which is really really strange because there literally never is traffic and then especially now that people are really not supposed to be out why is, <laughs> why is there additional traffic i don't know so yeah it's like it's covering my prickles i feel like it definitely covered up my acne scars and stuff like that I'm not going to do concealer today, so I'm just going to bring it right under the eyes. We'll pat it out if we need to. I like that. Of course, we will see how it wears. See if I get any kind of skin irritation or anything like that. Y'all know I'm allergic to a million things and my skin is very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. <laughs> it's so funny because Brett and I will be watching a movie like we do Monday movie nights every Monday. I'm going into my brush now. When we do Monday movie nights and if I get ready to start talking, he fucking hates that. So if I'll get ready to start talking, he's on this side of me. So he'll go like this as I'm talking and I'll end up talking like this and then he just starts laughing. So I'm going in with my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. And you guys know I always start with stippling motions and kind of get it in the areas I really need a product where I need some coverage. And then kind of smooth and diffuse everything out. Okay, I like it better with the brush. I figured I would, but I typically do. <laughs> that smell is a May mother freaking zing. Hi, baby love. What you doing? Who are you talking to? Who's that driving? Who is that? <laughs> he's driving while he's trying to watch a webinar yeah. for school. Tell him I'm going to kick his ass. I don't really know him very well. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Kayla's back in school. They're doing, like, online, like, webinar classes. And a friend of his literally has, like, he's being re More cars coming by. And they're stopping right by my house. That shit freaks me out. Anybody else? <laughs> okay, yeah, I love this. Love. 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 Like it better with the brush. Faux show. But it's beautiful. Oh, my God. And um, it does, she said that they did change the packaging so it doesn't say it. But I believe there's SPF of... 15 or 25. Um, I, of course, will double check and get complete deets and stuff like that and obviously link that or post it. And again, I'm not using any kind of concealer today. When I do use concealer, I stop my foundation here. If I'm not, then I'll bring it all the way under. All right. I am impressed. I feel like it is like a satin matte finish. We'll see how it dries down. If it stays like this, I will be even more, oops, sorry. I will be even more in love with it. Okay, love so far, love. And that smell, if somebody has used this, please tell me what that smell is. It is very, very familiar. Um, but this sponge, y'all, I love. I'm just gonna kind of press everything into place. 
I don't see it settling or anything like that. It definitely, of course, is not dry. I think it is the perfect amount of coverage for me. If you are a full coverage fan or you do not like any scent at all, this is not for you, okay? All right. Um, Shoot the bed, son. I'm feeling good, honey. All right. I'm going to go into the Pharmacy Yellow, and I will pick a shade from here. And again, y'all know I don't really do a look look per se when I'm doing first impressions. Um, my first impression is just that. What is my first impression? How does it look? How do I like the packaging? How was the customer service? How quickly did it get to me? Um, you know, what is the blendability like? So very like kind of minimalistic, classic packaging. Oh my, mm, that's so pretty. That is like a beautiful kind of deepy, deepy, deep plum. Wow, that is soft and very pigmented. Holy shit, the bed. So I don't think I'm gonna go for that one just today. Again, I'm gonna go just something very soft, but I do love the packaging a whole lot. Okay. And then we'll go into this one right here. And I like, I mean, it's in like the little sleeve, everything's protected. This is the shade Tropicana. Oh my God. And y'all know I, I live for yellow and I'm always on the hunt for a really pretty yellow. This one's not quite, this one I think is more of like a true pigment pigment, an actual pressed pigment. Um, not quite as satiny and soft. The other one was like very soft. I may actually just do the yellow and do yellow on this side. We're going to do that. We're going to see which one I prefer. All right, I'm going to go in with my soft, soft ochre paint pot. Really quickly. Again, I'm not really doing a look, look. This is more of maybe like a live swatch, if you will. Just enough to get an idea of how I'm feeling at the moment. You guys, I cannot, ex that f the foundation smells so incredibly familiar to me and I cannot place it. Like I can smell it on my skin and it's not heavy at all. It is very, very light, a very faint scent. I'm honestly gonna go in with my fingers for both of these and press them into my lid. And then if I need kind of a flat brush, we'll just get one out, I'll also do that. Again, I'm just testing for actual pigmentation. So this again is the Nomad and it is Tropicana. Oh, pretty. Oh, ooh. okay, pretty, very, very pretty. Now, of course, this is going to blend out a little bit differently if you were to put it on a brush. And I do have a base, so please keep that in mind. That is really beautiful. And I feel like these are two totally different yellows, so I could use them together for a makeup look, which is also up my alley. Let me dust this away. And yeah, I feel like this is definitely, it's not drying down too, too much. I can still see my skin through. I still see a little bit of luminous quality. I, I so far like it a lot. Okay, so it has kind of like your standard little sifter here. I'm really scared, y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna put just a, a tick. Oh, kind of a lot came out, but a tiny bit in the lid. And then I'm gonna press my finger in here. Oh, it has some shimmer, shimmer in there. Ooh. Oh, I got it all over me. Oh, that's pretty though. <gasps> and again, I have a base. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, oh my God. That's so pretty. Oh, it feels very, very soft. And it has the lightest little bit of like a gold kind of shimmer to it. Not even a shimmer, more of a like a lit from within type of gleam. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush into both of them and just build them up and just see where we can get this pigment. Again, I'm not going for a look. I'm just basically swatching. So yeah, you can see up here where I'm kind of just using the brush. You can see how you can easily just diffuse it. But you can also really pack it on. I think especially if you're using a white base. That is beautiful. I love it. Okay, let me wipe off my brush. And we will go into the pharmacy. Again, this is the shade Pineapple. Let me double check that. I'm 99% sure it was called that because I thought it was cute. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going back in here. And I'm going to show you in the lid too so you can see that kind of really cool gold. Just a light, subtle little bit of a shimmer. 
pole. Oh, that is pretty, you guys. And then we'll take it up here and see if it diffuses. I still feel like it stays almost the exact same. The pigment is kind of, you know, pretty true all the way up. Okay. I'm very excited so far. Very excited. I look, I look crazy as hell and I have a video to film after this. <laughs> um, I might have to actually fix this <laughs> so I don't look insane. Okay. And then last but not least is the Au Natural from Pharmacy. And we'll shake it up. I always shake up my liquid lips. Oh, well, that doe foot is very different. It is more slim and then kind of slanted. And let's go in. Oh, ooh. A little more kind of peachy. Oh, my God. Ooh, it feels like Rebel Rouge Labs, or if you're familiar with Lime Crime, Dose of Colors, all the ones that kind of feel like they have an oily kind of slip to them upon first application, and then they start to dry down. That is exactly what it feels like. Not really... It's not anything. I don't smell anything at all. <laughs> I feel like I personally probably wear a liner with this. It's gearing a little more pink than I typically like. Oh, I love it. Of course, we will see how everything wears. I, I like that a lot. It feels very light. It is opaque. I feel like you could probably do two layers, especially with this being a lighter shade. Oh, yeah. Y'all, we have hit home runs today. I know this is going to sound really effing crazy, but I feel like I look crazy as hell without at least having mascara on. So I'm going to put some mascara on and guess what? I'm going to film my other video looking just like this. Do I give two fucks? Nope. And then we'll try the blush and then we'll be done. So I will get close. I'm excited for this blush, y'all. But I love being like super, super, just kind of like natural, fresh skin in the summertime. Um, I love bronzy colors and yellows and golds. I live for highlight and bronzer in the summertime and a peachy blush. Like, oh my God, that is my vibe. So now that we've explained things and we've tried almost everything, how is everybody? Let's check up on one another. How is your mental health going? Um, what are you binge watching? What are you doing? Are your kids back in school as far as, um, like my son, they just had to like log into their thing and just do school. Whereas now it's like an actual virtual thing. All the children are like in the webinar together. They can see and hear one another. They can see their teacher. Um, I love that for him. I can definitely see that it like brings him a lot of joy. And of course, as a mother, we want to see our children happy. So I love that they started that. Um, anybody have any plans for summer that they feel could possibly get ruined? I still obviously never got to celebrate my birthday, so that kind of sucks. Not that I do anything big, so that is the Benefit Roller Lash. I love these, and I actually love both for different reasons. I love that this one is slightly more golden yellow, and it does have that slight little bit of a shimmer to it. And then this one is just like that really soft, like lemony yellow, like a true lemon yellow. Oh, love. Okay, so we're going to go into the blotch. I love the packaging. And again, I love the fact that it's kind of based on, you know, trips all over the world. And, and it's called Around the World. <laughs> and it is a glowy, kind of peachy pink blush. It almost reminds me upon first glance of the NARS Orgasm. That is what it looks like. And I, I hated the NARS, NARS Orgasm. Yeah. Almost spot on dupe. I'm excited because it actually looks like it has some pigment in it. 
I'm going in with my little Luxie foundation brush. I'm going to go light-handed because I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to tap that off. <gasps> oh, pretty, pretty. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hm, yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. This mixed with my Juvia's Play Serafina blush is going to be bomb as hell in the summertime. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is gorgeous. Again, we'll see how it wears. Oh, I love it. No scent. Almost zero fallout. They are a cruelty-free brand, if I didn't already say that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love everything. I'm going to take my little sponge. You know, I do this every single time. I normally spray my face and then kind of press everything in. Of course, I'm not doing a look, look. I love everything. Does it all go together? Hell no. Um, but you get an idea. So 100% so far, very, very happy. Upon the very first application, I love everything. So I will do a wear test later on. And if you see me in another video looking a hot ass mess, it's for, it's for the YouTubes, Okay. Um, so yeah, I will come back later on and I will do a wear test for you guys. It is 12.28 and yeah, thank you beauty so much. If you have not already, I would love if you would join my beauty family here on YouTube and I'd love if you'd subscribe and um, take your time, take a deep breath, wash your hands, be safe, be careful, know that you are loved and be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties. All right, beauties, um, it has been a little over an hour. I just wanted to do a check-in in natural light. I'm obviously right in front of my window. Um, it definitely has dried down all the way matte, but a softer matte. It doesn't feel super heavy, like, you know, you go like this and it feels tight and stuff like that. It's not doing that. Um, definitely not settling or anything like that anywhere. I don't see any kind of creasing. It feels super light and super comfortable. So this is daylight and i will check in with you guys later bye beauties all right beauties we are back i am going to go ahead and do my final check-in now you guys know i normally do this at like 9 10 o'clock at night it is 5 36 p.m um but i'm getting ready to eat dinner i don't eat past six now and i know the integrity of everything around my mouth and the lips and stuff like that are gonna look like trash okay after i eat dinner um, but I am going to give my final thoughts. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see and tell, I definitely started getting a little bit of just some moisture coming through, a little bit of natural oils coming through, um, slightly around my nose and then slightly kind of through here. Not really so much on my, uh, my chin, um, but I can definitely see some really pretty natural oils coming through, which I also am a fan of. You can also see that both eyes look pretty much the exact same as they did. There is literally no transfer, nothing is creasing, nothing looks weird or anything like that. They both look equally as beautiful. I'm impressed. I love them. And the lip color still looks beautiful. I haven't eaten anything since filming, but um, I have a drink and of course I'm talking and stuff like that. So I, I love the lip as well. The only thing I will say again, they don't have a huge variety of shades and I will say for me personally I don't know if it's because I was on my phone um their website was a little difficult for me um a lot of times like when you click on a website say you know you clicked on a shadow it's gonna have a shadow and then a drop down bar that says you know yellow blue purple pink whatever no um when you click on yellow it is just the yellow you look at that you look at the description you pick your quantity you have to back back out go to the next shadow which Okay, you know, maybe I'm just lazy, <laughs> but I like ease. I like ease of use in a website. So I did want to bring that up as well. Um, I did also want to read this. I I love this. That's so why I'm kind of saving this for last. Um, I freaking love it. It looks absolutely, absolutely stunning. Um, I may go ahead and order the next shade up. Um, again, I'm going to still wear this for my personal self till 10 or 11 tonight and still see. Um, but literally got no itching no weirdness literally zero cakiness zero like any kind of dryness i will say if you have very oily skin maybe just set it um but again i've worn it already 
five and a half, six hours, very close to that already. And I mean, aside from this tiny, tiny little peak, peak through of oil, it's not gotten oily on me at all. Um, I will say I feel like this blush, and again, it's more of a shiny blush as I'm trying to add some more. <laughs> um, I don't feel like it stayed quite as long. But that may also be because this is more of an, an emollient type of foundation underneath. So I think I, I mean, I do love it. I love the color and stuff like that. I just feel like the longevity maybe is not there, but it is a more glowy, soft, you know, product. Um, but I love it as well. So I'm going to read this right here. And it says, of course, Skin Perfecting Balm, Dermatologist Tested. A lightweight formula that helps to instantly cover skin imperfections and balances uneven skin tone. This is an enriched formula with multi-mineral CC cream. Helps to make your skin more resistant while providing flawless coverage. Marvelous to create a more radiant, silky, and flawless looking complexion and suitable for all skin types. I really love it. I definitely will be ordering the next shade up. Um, I definitely already have a backup of my Pretty Fresh from ColourPop, my Tinted Moisturizer. So I think kind of doing both of those in conjunction with my It Cosmetics powder foundation that y'all know I live for in the summertime. Um, I am going to be feeling pretty damn confident. I'm going to tell you that right now. I definitely think, especially for the price point and stuff like that, you cannot go wrong. The Nomad products look phenomenal. I mean, both of these yellows are just, they're beautiful. I can't wait to do an actual look <laughs> with them. Um, and this lip is one of the most comfortable that I've worn. Definitely one of the most comfortable I've worn. I will for sure be ordering from Pharmacy again and from Nomad. Um, and of course, Nomad is an indie brand. Y'all know I live for my indie brands. So that is it. I really, really thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you've tried any of these brands um, and if you've checked out these sponges, I want to know. I freaking love them. Um, but if you've checked out Pharmacy, if you've checked out Nomad, um, I would like to know. I would definitely want to order more stuff from Nomad. But I'm... I'm impressed. I am overall very, very impressed. Again, the shade range is not up to par on the pharmacy website, but I will also say that with a product like this, because you can kind of shear them out a little bit more, I feel like one shade can work for a couple of different skin tones at a time. Um, aside from that though, and again, it not being to me super user friendly, I, I love it. The price point's there um, and the quality is absolutely there. So I'm excited. Very excited. And thank you, beauty, so much. If you have not already, I would love if you would join my beauty family here on YouTube and be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.